time press the record button. All right. There we go. Right. Because now, um, let me just make Willis co-host as well. Um, I know he's on the call. So I just want to make sure all technical difficulties are out of the way before we actually get this call underway. There you go, Willis. I see you. You are now co-host, my brother. And Kieran, I'm going to make you host. Kieran, I'm going to make you host for the day, right? Um, and make me co-host, okay? And family, um, what I want to do before we do start, because what I don't want, what I don't want to do is this. Kieran, obviously, um, as I speak, if you could just turn off all kind of connotations so nobody can draw um, on the screen, right? Number one, right? Um, of course, nobody can unmute themselves. Right? Nobody can unmute themselves, right? Um, and then when, of course, what we want to do as well, it's just all co-hosts control um, the, the comment section, the, the chat. OK, um, because, of course, we like to leave it open to interact with you guys. But most importantly, if there is anything that shouldn't be on it, just remove the individual or, of course, just um, put a pause to it. Because we always have imposters one way or another. Right. We're, we're getting big now. Do you know what I'm saying? So it happens. Right. My link gets sent out. God knows where. And I have the most random people joining the call. Right. So that's me, family. So look, just before I do continue, the call's now being recorded. Um, let's just put some one one ones in the chat box. If everybody can hear me, everybody can see me clearly because I don't want no interruptions when Kieran comes on, when Willis comes on. And then most importantly, when the Manaro man himself, the educator, the king, the legend, it just comes on. So I want to make sure that all technical difficulties are out of the way. Technical difficulties are out of the way. Right, so for those who've just joined the call right now, family, just so you guys understand what's about to happen, let me break down the itinerary for you once again. This is the last time you're going to hear from me all the way until the end of the call, just for me to close it, right? Um, number one, we are going to have our very own legend in the gang, in the camp, Kieran Manara Verse Man himself. Then we're going to have our brand new up-and-coming individual, right, by the name of Willis Arame, right? Willpower, right? <laughs> He's going to come on um, after Kieran. And then, of course, we have the legend, the king himself, um, the Manara man, Idris, which we are all super, super, super excited about. And we're going to break it down in stages. We're going to make sure you guys understand what Manara is, how to use Manara, results across two different time frames. And then you're going to hear from the legend himself. So without no further ado, family, let's get this call on the way. Right. So look. The first individual I'm going to bring on board for the next 10 to 15 minutes for him to do his segment, right, is Kieran, right? This is an individual, of course, he's a, he's a pillar, he's an asset to our organisation. He's the individual that is in control of Monaroverse inside our organisation. He's the individual that was sending out trades today for you lot to get 3% up on your trades today, right? So you guys need to understand, this is my brother. Um, this is someone that I have high respect for and I cannot wait to see what he has, right, to see, right? Um, no, what what... The future as for him in his next 90 days as an educator, right? As an icon, right? As a launcher, right? And most importantly, as a professional network marketer uh, and what we what he's going to be able to impact across the globe with this opportunity, right? So, Kieran, I'm super, super excited for you, my brother. So, if you can take it away for the next 10 to 15 for the family, the floor is now yours, my bro. And I'm officially handing it over to you, my brother. Awesome. Hey, everyone. Hope everyone's well. Can everyone hear me? Um... I know we do this a lot, but can you just type one 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 in the chat box if you can hear me, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We can hear you, my boy. You I know can you hear do you. that can a lot. Okay. We can hear you. Um, we can hear you. Cool. So this is going to be a short training compared to my usual Tuesday training. First of all, can I just ask anyone in the chat, can you just type 222 if you took any of the trades we took today, especially USD Swiss and NZD USD? Uh, the reason being is that I'm going to go over how Manara found that trade and then what we did to catch it um, and how you guys could have caught that too. And both these trades were Monara trades. And I think once you guys learn how to use Monara, you won't even need me. As much as I, you know, that hurts me saying, but you won't, you guys won't actually need me to find these trades for yourself, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, I'm going to go through it with you guys. Um, just a little side note. If you guys, Monara ever stops working, like, let's say, for example, um, like recently, mine was doing something where um, it was saying, telling me to upgrade or get a premium. Just make sure, just go to live support. And they, they, they will refresh your account, okay? So I had to get that done myself uh, last week. So if that happens to you guys, just, just make sure to write that down in your notes. Go to live support and they will refresh your account and they will start working again, okay? So no problem. All right, so the trade that we found today, 
If I go to it's actually musical chart. All right. So the first one we found was NZD USD. And what I'm also going to do, guys, I'm just going to explain to you how Manawa works so you guys have an idea. Um, but this was the trade setup. It was on this time frame, and it was a, as we all as we always trade, it was a bat pattern. Okay. Very, very simple. So you guys should be able to see my screen. Um, and I want to walk you through exactly how you found it. Before I get through, go through the trade, let me go through how to set up your Manara so yours looks like mine, okay? So the first thing you guys want to do is you want to make sure your settings are correct, okay? Because, uh, again, there's multiple ways to trade. I'm just going to tell you the settings, the basic settings. And then if you guys want to, you know, um, go around and mess with it, by all means do so, okay? So the first setting is you want to have income well not so much focus on that but what you want to have is 15 30 minute one hour and four hour time frames marked okay now 15 30 and one hour will give you short-term trades that will last probably about half no more than half a day to hit tp2 however the person coming after me who's been smashing it with monara he only does four hour trade um but i'll let him talk more about what he does okay then you only do forex okay now the particular pattern that i use is bat pattern. So every time I call a trade, you will notice it's a bat pattern. The reason why I choose bat pattern is because it's very, very close to Fibonacci levels. And it most of the time is very, very closely linked to institutional trading. Okay. So I only trade up for consistency reasons. Okay. And then you want to have bullish and bearish, uh, which just means it's going to look for buys in the market and it's going to look for sales in the market as well. Okay. Very, very simple. Okay. When it comes to security, um, I used to have all of these ticked. I, I've simmered it down a bit uh, just to focus on a few basic pairs so that, you know, I can be more consistent with my trading. Um, but today, as you guys can see, we have, you know, NZD I found earlier. Um, as, you, as you guys can see, there was also AED CAD. A lot of these, I tend to have most of these always on, to be honest with you. But then as time's gone on, I've kind of simmered it down, simmered it down, simmered it down. But as a newbie, you want to have all the majors ticked. Okay, all the majors. When you guys want more variety, you can start adding some minors to it. These are the minors I have. I won't add any more than this. The reason being is that, well, maybe NZD CAD, but the reason being is that uh, most of your brokers don't have all of these. So like, for example, there's some trades we found like AED, HKD. So that's the Australian dollar and the Hong Kong dollar. Not every broker has that currency pair, right? So there's no point me calling out that trade if, if people can't trade it. Do you get, do you make sense? So these are the ones I mainly trade. And today, what it did, and now hopefully everyone has that, by the way. Oh, by the way, in case you guys want to learn how you want to save it, just go to where it says view after you've selected everything. Call it whatever you want. So right now, you know, I can see Ben Pennington, right? I can see him on the call. I can see his face. Um, so if I put Ben here and then I put the plus symbol, it will save it. So now I will never have to redo that settings again. It will just lock. Okay. So every time I come on here, I can just go to get the drop down menu. I can click on Ben. Obviously Ben's not here, but I can click on OB and then it will just bring up all the settings I've made. Okay. Very, very, very simple. And let me just make sure I get the chat box up just in case anyone's asking me questions. Um, I can't access my number. It says right window blocked contact live support. Okay. So I guess I said before, go to live support. They will refresh your account. Okay. Just make sure you have a subscription, give them your email and they will refresh your account. It'll be working fine. Okay. So now we're going to go over the trade. And we're going to go over the four part strategy is very, very, very simple. This is how I found the trade. Now to show you the before and after, um, let me go into our chat and let me go into our Manara. Sorry if I'm exposing anybody's, anybody's number, but we have to do this. Um, so this was the trade before it happened. Uh, NZD USD, this one. Okay. Oh, even that's too far. Okay, so this was the trade uh, before it happened. So as you guys know, let me just keep going back. Okay, so this is the trade when I found it, okay? So this is the trade before it happened. And as you can see, price was around about, well, let's, let's look at our stop loss, 59586 five, area, right? So if you go back to go back to this, so we go over here, price was around the 5956 five, area. So it was around about here, right? So how did we find this trade family? So first things we did, is we, I, I personally came on in the background. You guys didn't see me do it, but I came on in the background to look for trades to call out for the gang. Um, as you guys know, previously in our Saturday markup session, I show you guys how to mark up zones, okay? So this area was a zone. Now, I haven't got time to go into that right now because that kind of deter us from Monara. 
But after we pri the price hit the zone, what we then did is I came on here and saw, is there a Fibonacci? Is there a institutional? Is there a Monara setup on here as well? Okay. Now, once we did that, all I did, and this is the part of the full part strategy, is I confirmed two things. One, is there an institutional candle? Yes, there was, which is this candle right here, right? And number two, was there a Fibonacci level? Uh, and for those of you that have been on my trainings or, or see my recordings, you should know what Fibonacci training, uh, Fibonacci level is. But basically, it's just an indicator you can use to dictate the lowest price that can't, the currency pair will be pushed to without breaking structure, okay? And as you guys can see, this was the low of the move. This was the high of the move. The furthest it was allowed to retrace was down to the red line, which is called the 88% level. And now we had our zone, okay? So Monara, we have our Monara entry. We also have our 88%. So we had this nice little zone between the Monara entry and the 88%, which is down here. But then price didn't come close to it. So we had to market execute, okay? So we market executed as an organization. And as you guys can see, I literally said, guys, it didn't quite go down. So I just told everyone to market execute, okay? And then we took the trade together. Now, it did take a while to happen. But as you guys can see from, from when we got in, so this is the other trade that we want, which is recovering the second. But as you guys can see, if I go down to a lower time frame, this is where we entered. I've started to give us, um, especially when it comes to Monara, uh, longer, um, bigger stop losses. Okay, the bigger stop losses, just so we don't get wicked out too soon. So this was a bigger stop loss than normal. And we had a 10 pip stop loss. It took a while to hit. But then when news came out, bang, we went up. And so far, based upon our stop loss, we did a one to four. So if you risk 1%, you would have made 4%, okay? And then we found another trade that went the opposite way, okay? So the reason we know, we knew that this would go the opposite way is again, this was also a Monara trade, as you guys can see here. Boom, 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 boom. You might not be able to see that because of the color scheme, but this was also a Monara trade. And because NZD USD had USD at the end and USD Swift had USD at the beginning, we knew that if we won, NZD USD, we would automatically win USD Swiss. So we took both trades. And as you can see from this, if you got, there was two positions we took. So some people got in later than others, right? So this was uh, the highest position we got, which was back on this morning strategy entry here. And as you can see, that trade went one, how much was the risk to reward ratio? It went one to eight, right? And we caught 57 pips on that trade. And we are still holding this trade as we speak. OK, so those two trades were from Monara and that was our very, very easy way of just not so much copy and pasting because we had to confirm that these trades were worth taking. But once we confirmed it was worth taking, that's when the signal came out and that's when you guys was able to take the trade. And that's how we was able to make our money for today. So this is a very, very powerful system that you guys don't really need to mess with in the sense of you don't really once you have your settings, you have it and it's just confirming you know, is it on a, on a demand? All right, cool. Is it going with the flow of the trend? Cool. Is it, you know, a, a the entry good? Okay, cool. You can take the trade and you'll get results like this on a continuous basis. And since we start to apply Jeff's way of trading with demand and Monara plus the strategy, we've just been having consistent results over the last, I say, seven days. And people have been messaging me saying, oh, you got a lot better, da, 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 da. But I think the more you just grow and you keep learning, and you apply what you learn to this Monara strategy or to this AI, I promise you, your trading will get, it will, it will start to really, really evolve um, as time goes on, okay? So that's a quick synopsis of not only how to set it up, uh, but how we won today's trade and how we also won two trades. And if we were to put it into percentages, um, we got, we made 8% on USD Swiss and we made, based upon our stop loss, we made 4%. So we made over 12% today on two trades using Monaro, okay? Um, so again, that's more than enough to pass your funded. <laughs> that's more than enough to make your free to 8% a day, whatever your, your goal is. So again, just by utilizing the products and services, you guys can not only make your own money grow, but if you're going for a challenge, you can also use this service for a challenge as well, okay? Just make sure you're just plugging into the system. Make sure you're plugging into the trainings as we go through it. And I guarantee you guys will have the same success going forward. So what I want to do is I want to get back to our host because um, without him, none of us would be here. There's 120 people on this call, which by the way, 
Shout out to everyone for coming onto the call. And I know you guys are gold addicts. So you probably can't wait to hear from the man himself. Um, but Frank, uh, what I want to do is get back to the, the leader of the group because without him, none of us would be here. And he has been a mentor from a business perspective to all of us on how to grow a massive organization, but also make sure that the organization makes money through the trading. And we can't wait to see what he becomes, but also what we become underneath his leadership. So with that being said, if you guys want to get back to you, uh, thank you for having me on the call and I will keep recording uh, for the sake of the team. All right, love, peace. Appreciate you, my brother. No worries. Guys, if that makes sense, please type two to two in the chat box. And I'm out. Let's give Kieran some two 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 seven 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 spies in the chat box if that made sense. That was solid. Um, solid, 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 small, very brief break. Uh, you know, breakdown of the strategy of Monaro family. You got guys, let me just break something down. This isn't meant to be a full-on right teaching moment. Okay. This is just to make sure you guys understand what's on offer so you plug in. To the teaching. Very important. Okay. Kieran comes on every single week at 8 p.m. on Tuesdays. Every single week, 8 p.m. Tuesdays, right? Kieran is live. And as you can clearly see throughout the day, he also sends out trades on the Monaro verse on different pairs outside of us who do gold, right? Just so we get more variety. And of course, we get more for our money. Very, very simple. Okay, so Kieran, once again, I appreciate you. Super, super grateful for you, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, so look, family, the next one, we've got another one, right? Uh, we've got another one. This is an upcoming one. This is a personal one again, uh, because what I love to see is when my brothers genuinely um, take it in, genuinely sit down, really take this serious and really learn the skill set, what is possible for them. This individual has been trading, right, for multiple, multiple, multiple years, right? He was, prior, he was previously um, a part of a different company. He came over to us because he saw what we've been doing here. He said, Hugo, before I even start, is it possible for me to just enter your group chats, your results chats? I just want to see what the results, because I know you're making money. I've seen it live in the flesh. You've showed me your MT4. You've shown me, your, you've shown me money. I know it works for you. But I want to trust that it's working for your system. I put him in my chat for months. He didn't get started. And then he said, I've had enough. I've, I've had enough. All right. <laughs> Let me get started. I've seen enough. I've seen enough results. He got started just as a customer, right? Just as a customer family, right? He's a trader, just as a customer. He, he does have, of course, experience in network marketing, right? But he came in as a trader and said, Hugo, I want to use this Monaro tool that you have. Right. He studied and studied and studied and back tested and back tested and back tested. And today, using our system, using our strategy, right, that Kieran has just gone through, right, adding the confirmations, right, that we have in house to the tool, he now has a brand new formula for every single one of us on the four hour time frame. And this is something that I'm super, super, super excited about. Um, because it's going to allow you guys to now be able to find trades for yourself and be able to, of course, um, get results for yourself alongside what myself, what Kieran, what Idris does for you guys on a day-to-day -day basis. So without no further ado, it's my brother, my man, Willis Arami, willpower. <laughs> Take it away, my brother. Um, the show is yours, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, Hugo, man. Um, hey, everyone. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing great. Um, as Hugo rightly said, my name is Willis Arome. Um, trading wise, in terms of my experience, um, I've been trading coming up to four years this year, God willing. Um, and yeah, everything that Hugo said was pretty much on point. Um, you know, had the experience in trading. I could see Hugo from a distance. I could see all of the success that he was having. But the question that I had was, does he have a system and a formula that works? so that it can duplicate throughout his team, throughout his entire organization. That's the question that I had. And all I basically saw was results upon results upon results, uh, consistently, people winning each and every single day. And that's what really inspired me. Um, for me, winning is inevitable for everybody. Individuals can go, can go and win, you know, especially in this space. But there's nothing like having a community to keep, number one, each other accountable, and number two, to help each other grow, especially for individuals that have never traded before. And this is the reason why this entire organization, it was, it's just been such a blessing. It's been a blessing to me, my organization so far. 
um, God willing, we can even impact many more, many more people, especially throughout these next 90 days. All right. So once again, just want to give it back to Hugo. Um, and also wanted to give a massive shout out to uh, Kieran as well as uh, Jeff, um, because you guys probably don't, I probably don't say it to you guys, but you guys have been more of an inspiration and more of a mentor indirectly towards me because I'm making sure I'm taking notes, I'm learning, I'm growing. Most importantly, I'm applying everything that I've actually learned through the classes, through the sessions that I've also been attending as well. All right. So what I'm simply going to do is basically share with you my experience in terms of utilizing the product and what I found in terms of consistency for me, right? The reason I say for me is very simple. Many individuals will see this strategy and will probably be like, yeah, this is it. This is the one. This is what I'm going to run with. Other individuals might say this works, but it's probably not for me. The reason I'm saying this is because I tend to look at things from a higher time frame perspective, right? Now, if you've been on Jeff's calls, um, if you've been through the ECA Academy, uh, one thing is very consistent. Number one, when you look at things from a higher time frame, uh, you tend to have a bigger perspective of where the price was already heading in the first place. But oftentimes what we end up doing is <clears throat> we see, um, you know, the little opportunities on the lower time frames. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, right? But what I've found, especially for, you know, when you're looking at overall trends and direction of the market, overall, you know, we hear things like top-down analysis, you know, I don't want to go too deep into it, especially if there's new people on the call. But the point I'm trying to make here is looking at things from a higher time frame perspective or from a long-term perspective, right? More often than not, you're going to see some level of consistency in terms of results, okay? So I don't want to just speak about it. I'm actually going to show you exactly what I'm referring to, um, as well as the type of results that I've actually managed to make in the last seven days as well, all right? So let me just go ahead and share my screen. And I'm also going to make sure I keep track of time just so I don't go over. Okay, so just put a 111 in the chat if you guys can actually see my screen. I lost the chat, but yeah, let me know. Okay, thank you guys, appreciate it. Okay, perfect. So as you guys can, as you guys can see, this is my screen. Um, in terms of the settings, there's nothing very different to what Kieran has already mentioned. Um, all I've simply done is I've simply amended it. Whereas you might have the four hour, the one hour, and the 15 minutes. I've just kept it to the four hours, right? Very simple. Now, I'm going to show you really quickly through some of the results that you can probably see here. So if I go to the the last or the, the very last signal, uh, well, I'm just going to say it like this. The signal that was sent the earliest um, so far, which is on the 20th of March, right? So this would be the GBP USD trade. As you can see, it entered this particular area. And of course, you know, it hit both take profit one and take profit two. Okay, I'm going to give you another example. AUD CAD. Okay, similar scenario here. It hit the area. We had a little bit of a wick, but that's absolutely not why, because you're going to hit sometimes a little bit of drawdown before you get into profit, right? Another example, we had the exact same trade sent twice pretty much. And what was the exact outcome? This one had little to no drawdown in fact no drawdown depending on how you entered again we had the profit all right i can go on and on now is this system perfect absolutely not right will there be losses absolutely yes and i want to kind of dive in and give you an example of what that looks like so as you can see here um you can see that the market went right down into this particular area which was the entry point and then of course um we are in profit now but of course it hit the stop loss before it even went back into the entry area so are there losses? Absolutely, yes. So it's also about understanding what is the structure of why you want to jump into trades in the first place, right? It just goes back down to the very simple strategies that we learned from Kieran, you know? The simple, um, my one might have a slightly different variation. However, it's basically the same thing, right? Along with the principles that we've learned through Jeff's calls, and most importantly, all of the education that you will learn through the system and through the EC Academy as well. All right, another example really quickly, AD. Um, ADUSD, of course, this hit take profit one, but I want to now kind of dive in in terms of how I see things and how I apply. The most important thing is application, right? Um, you want to make sure that you grow, okay, and you want to make sure you apply what you learn. And eventually, this skill set can be, you know, it can be a tool to help others. One thing that I want you to take away, if there's nothing else you take away from this, is this: first, you learn, and then you duplicate. Right, you cannot necessarily duplicate something you might not necessarily have learned yourself. 
right? And this four-step strategy is very basic. It's very simple. You just need to go out and do it consistently to see the results, all right? I just look at things from a higher time frame perspective, which means are the trades going to be coming in consistently every single hour? No. Sometimes I wait for a couple of days for the trades. However, when it does hit, if I'm in 70 pips at TP1 and I do that three times in a week, I've made 200 pips, which is exactly the results that I've had in the last seven days, made over 200 pips, right? So let's just give you an example of one of the trades that I took. Um, I'm just going to have a look really quickly at my trading view to give you an idea of what I mean. Um, so I'm going to go to Euro GBP, which is the trade that was sent out. Um, so this was sent out on the 29th, which I think is last Friday. So this trade got sent out on Friday. All right. And when this trade got sent out, the first thing I was looking for is did Minara send the trade? Where does that strategy come from? Kieran, right? Did it send out the trade? Yes, perfect. Now, what's the next step? Do you see an institutional candle? Now, an institutional candle, again, re-explained, is, is very simple. Is the next candle bigger than the previous sell candle, right? You, you have the sell candle here, and then the, ne the next candle moves in the opposite direction, okay? And it's much bigger and engulfs the previous one, okay? Now, another way to look at this is this. Do you have something called a break of structure? Right. Now, you might not necessarily see this on a higher time frame instantly. Why? Because you're seeing things from a one hour perspective um, and it might be a little bit difficult. So it's very easy for you to even just drop down even further. You can drop down even further. And identify where you see a. You know, a break of structure, let's just say, for instance, this is where the trade came in, right? You don't necessarily always want to take the trade straight away, but you want to wait for those one to two first of first confirmations. So do we have the break of structure? Okay, on a lower time frame, you can even drop down to the one minute at the time. So immediately from that particular point, right? You probably might not be able to see, and I don't want to spend too, too long on it, but you get the point. From this very point, you can see that the market was trending downwards. From here, it's trending downwards. So because it said it's a buy, we're waiting for that break of structure in order for us to take that particular trade, okay? So yes, it's flown up a little bit by a few pips because this is in a smaller time frame. okay? The next thing you want to do is wait for the next confirmation. The next confirmation is, uh, you know, look for any particular gaps in the market, right? These are all things that you're going to learn through, you know, the sessions that we do on a regular basis every single day, right? And then eventually, once you've done that, it's entered into that particular gap. Now, you might decide to take the trade from here, or you might decide to take the trade once it reaches that particular gap. It doesn't necessarily matter. The whole idea is you've done the three to four step strategy. Okay. And I just kind of wanted to round off in terms of the results, because now we're looking at things from a higher time frame perspective. And then what do we end up with? We end up with a trade that, yes, might hit TP. I don't know, because of news or something. But sometimes it takes a couple of days. I'll be so honest. Sometimes it might take three days for you to hit your final take profit. But is it rewarding to have held a trade knowing that there's a higher probability of that trade moving in a particular direction once it reaches a particular area? The answer to that is yes, right? It just requires you to play the patience game because at the end of the day, patience always pays, right? <laughs> so this is basically the game that I've been playing. I've, I've just been messing around with the higher time frame. Right, and these are the three trades that I took. Um, if I just get rid of that really quickly, um, yeah. So these are the trades that I've taken between the middle of last week and the uh, and and pretty much today. Um, so this is the GBP, the Euro GBP trade that I've taken, which hit take profit, which was a total of thirty seven or thirty six pips. Um, so take profit one and take profit two was complete. Uh, I took the AD USD trade um, a couple of days ago, um, and this so far has done about 84 pips in total. And as you can see, it's minimal drawdown. You know, the minimal drawdown, literally. I, I forgot if it was even a drawdown. In fact, I took this trade in, it was here, right? But it went back down, minimal drawdown, and it went back up. So a total of 84 pips. The other trade that I took was the Euro USD, which was sent out. Well, I say sent out, I sent it to uh, to the team, as in my. Um, my organization and also I took this trade myself um, as you can see here I took this trade when this was sent out in fact 
Um, just wanted to round off really quickly. Um, when this trade was sent out, I actually thought I missed it. Um, yeah, I actually thought I missed it because it hit that particular area and then the candle was up here. So I just simply waited for the same four-step strategy, which was, okay, is there going to be a breaker structure? Was there a breaker structure? Absolutely, yes. Just drop down to the lower time frame so that you can actually see that perspective, okay? And then wait for the gap to be filled. If you want that extra confirmation with that Fibonacci, right, um, and how to use that, of course, we do, we do have the classes to do that. But eventually, what ended up happening, you know, another take profit was cleared by the end of today, which was a total of, I think, 75 pips as well, all right? So collectively, that's around 200 pips that was caught from free trades alone <laughs> with it still continuing to potentially hit the take profit too. Um, and this is basically how I've been trading um, for the last couple of days. But if you just have a look at the results from the last couple of uh, weeks, right? And the one thing with Monaro is that what you won't see is, um, what you won't see is the previous trade ideas that were sent from before. Um, I think it, I don't know how long it stays on the system, but um, I, 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 you know, I, I checked all of the trades Probably if there were seven trades that were sent out, five of them were all here to take profit one minimum. So if you do the maths, the long-term perspective, if you're having on average between 60, 70, 50 pips or TP1, and if you're just holding a little bit longer, right, um, the reward is worth it at the end. So that's kind of what I wanted to round off on. Round off, sorry, round off on. <laughs> my English is uh, being screwed up there. So this is basically how I utilize Monara to the best of my ability. Um, and, you know, this is how I'm, I'm winning so far. I like to see things from a higher time frame perspective. Am I perfect? No. Am I still a student of the game? Absolutely, yes. I'm still learning as much as every single individual. But the most important thing is this. Make sure that you plug into the education and the system that already exists within the community, right? And eventually, you're going to uh, reap the benefits and the results. Some people might want to do the lower time frames. Some people might do want to do the one hour as well as the four hour time frame. This is just something that works for me. And of course, God willing, we're gonna see much more results, much more payouts, and uh, you know, basically influencing and duplicating the community as time goes on as well. So um, thank you very much for allowing me to share this information with everyone. Um, God willing, hopefully you guys will see a lot more of me. And yeah, I'm just gonna hand it back to Hugo. Thank you very much, bro, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What an absolute first session. Sorry, sir. King Willis. King Willis. Sorry, sir. <laughs> what a legend. What an absolute flipping legend. Right. First time on the call, speaking like he's already been doing this for the past 20 years. Absolute legend. I cannot wait um, to see what you bring to the camp. And of not just in terms of value, but in terms of support um, for what you're doing, my brother. So I can I really know in terms of skill set, you're going to be absolutely smash, smashing it. But it's definitely going to be, you know, a pleasure to have you a part of the next 90 days. You know, Terry said something that made me laugh on the chat box. He said, this is 09, 010 Barcelona. Hey, this is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know when you have a hundred percent possession, they can't take the ball off us. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> this is definitely oh nine oh ten Barcelona. So, family, look, Willis, I, I appreciate you genuinely. Thank you so much, man. Super, super excited to have you on board, brother. Uh, but now, look, look, over to the main event. You know, um, this one right here is a special one because this is someone that genuinely, truly. Um, it, it, it's it's not just a friend. This is generally my brother. Um, the short time I've known him, you know, when you just click with someone and it's just mutual. Do you know what I mean? And this this individual does not need to be doing what he's doing. I'm gonna tell you that for free, right? So the fact that um, where 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 he's doing what he's doing and where he is in life is amazing. This is a family man. Um, this is this is not only an individual that takes care of his family um, at home, takes care of us, this family in the business, and he puts himself out there every single day. Let me just tell you something now for all you brand new traders and all you OG traders in the room. Sending signals isn't easy, bro. Right. I want to make sure you understand that. Right. Because you've got to understand this individual is taking care of 20,000 plus individuals globally all around the, 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 the world. He's not taking care of a little small 20 person organization. No, he's in charge of 20,000 people making money. And here's the core reason on why we've had, right? The volume 
that we've had in EA economy and the growth we've had in the last 12 to 18 months, right? He's been consistent week after week. If you look at his records, it's anything between 70 to 85% plus every single month, right? And many of you come and say, oh, Manara's doing bad this week. But I always say this, and this is gonna, he's going to speak about this on the call. When you stick to Manara for 30 days straight and you take every trade, you don't miss one of them, you will always end up more profitable than you are at loss. Every single time, right? So this individual has got years of years of experience. Um, I truly love him as my brother. We had another great time in Vegas together. Um, and now he he's literally gave his time up for us here at Mastermind Investment Group for him to actually do a call for us. So this for me is a, it's an honor to even have him on the call, someone of such caliber, um, someone of such experience. And obviously, obviously the consistency and what he does on a day-to-day -day is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. So family, I genuinely want us to go and blow the chat off for this next speaker, the main man, the Manara man himself. Right, put some fire emojis in the chat box, right? But blow up the chat box for the main man to come on. Uh, and then by means, we'll bring him up on the stage, family. So Idris, my brother, um, I'm going to make you co-host, right? I'm going to make you co-host, my bro. Um, and then by means, the stage is yours, my bro. So where are you? Yeah, you are Idris Manara. <laughs> my brother. The floor is now yours, my bro. Um, so take it away. I'm going to be in the background taking notes and you take it away, sir. Appreciate you. We can't hear you. We can't hear. We can't hear. Test, test. Hello. Can you hear me now? My mic was muted. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. You awesome. Live. Awesome. I was you saying, live, bro. You live. I was just letting you know, uh, I appreciate all the kind words. I appreciate everybody in this group. I appreciate everybody taking the time uh, to come out and not only hear me speak, but I get to share exactly what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, it's a pleasure. Obviously, I love, I love doing this every single day. Is it stressful at times? A hundred percent, but uh, nothing in life is easy. So, you know, we don't take the, we don't take the easy way out. That's why 113 of us are here. Obviously, we chose a different path in life, you know, so give yourself a pat on the back. And I think there's like groups watching this. So it's 113, but I see like a whole table of 10 over there, uh, which is amazing. But um, but yeah, I mean, you guys know my story. If you guys watched the Zoom in Vegas last week, you know, doing this over 10 years. First off, I just want to give a round of applause to the traders before me. I, when I was muted, I was saying uh, sitting here, I've been here for like 30 minutes now taking notes myself. Uh, one thing about me is I'm always learning and I'm always taking advice and seeking advice from others uh, that find success in what they do, right? Uh, success leaves clues. So I'm never going to not be there with a pen and paper or not going to take notes from anybody or any anywhere, right, uh, that I am in life. So I appreciate the two traders before me. Um, but really quick, I just want to jump in. You know, I'm going to share exactly what I do. You guys are probably going to look at this and be like, there's no way this is what he's doing. He's over here gatekeeping. Um, I literally am the most simple trader you'll ever meet. I literally have three rules. And if the three rules apply, I take the trade. And it's been forever profitable these last two years for me. And it's been nothing but a blessing. Um, but just out of curiosity, did anybody take my trade uh, last night? I don't know if you guys were sleeping. I was I was awake at 4.35 a.m. my time. But uh, okay, awesome, awesome. We made some money then last night. Um, it's been a phenomenal week. Always remember, guys, uh, amazing weeks can come with terrible months. So if you made money and you're happy with the amount of profits that you make, always remember that this is a long-term process. Nobody successful became profitable the next day or the next week or even the next month. Um, this is going to be a long game that you play. The smarter you are with your investments, the smarter you are with your money. And oh, yeah, 100%, Dwayne, make sure you withdraw. Um, if you're not paying yourself weekly, bi-weekly, or even monthly, I don't know why you're doing this. You're probably at this point just you like staring at numbers at a screen. I always tell my students, your numbers at a, on a screen should always translate to numbers in your bank account. If it's not doing that, either you're not seeking help, you're not applying. I think Willis said this. You're not applying what is already being taught, right? So when you want to succeed and when succeed gives you those clues and leaves them behind, you have to make sure that you're applying them when you're, if you're not applying them, you're not profitable, then you need to seek within yourself to understand how to be better. 
seek to understand how to become more profitable and seek to understand where you're going wrong, right? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So we have to either change, to, you know, shift our mindset or shift to whatever somebody else is doing right. Reach out to somebody. Um, I'm sure there's many people in this group, many people in this our community that will that would love to help out. Um, but without further ado, I will go ahead and jump into my chart. Yes, we have a current trade going on. I know I've seen some people in the chat call it, call it out. Um, we are in some drawdown right now, but I did want to break this down, kind of show you guys what I saw. Um, because sometimes uh, people are like, how did you how did you see that sell or how did you see that buy? So <clears throat> first off, when it comes to trading gold, gold is just a pattern uh, pattern trading pair. What I mean by that is it's going to do the same thing over and over every single day. It's not going to be the same price. It's not going to be the same exact move, but it's going to leave behind certain areas of, you know, maybe the candlestick wicked this area. Maybe the candlestick pushed higher before it moved lower. Maybe it moved lower before it moved higher, right? Now, all that means is when you're entering trades or when you're taking trades on gold, go ahead and go to the single view because I'm showing you both. Um, you have to understand that one, gold is going to move where it wants to move right? Overall, gold is always going to be bullish. Typically, I like to catch the counter trends just because sometimes uh, the market will leave an area to retest. The market will leave an area to go back to. It may have broken structure on a respected zone that it needs to retest. And that's why I also love gold. It moves the most cleanest and the most easiest way to do it, right? So uh, um, the two traders before me showed you what they like to do with Monara. Um, all I honestly use um, is going to be the 30 minute, the one hour and four hour. And then the patterns that I like to look at are going to be the bat, butterfly, triangle, head and shoulders. I think range is new. Um, so I just keep it here. I haven't really seen many trades from it. And then bullish and bearish, obviously. And then the D point. Now, just because uh, these trades are here necessarily doesn't mean you take every single one of those trades, right? You want to make sure that when you're looking at these trades, um, is it following the right trend? Or is it a possible counter trend, right? Is there, an, is there an area where the market needs to go short term before going long term, right? Is there cattle, candlestick patterns playing off of the pattern that it's giving? So there's there's multiple reasons why you take a trade with Minara. And then there's multiple reasons why you don't take a trade with Minara. For instance, I think this is one of them, right? This one was a sell. This ended up hitting stop loss before going, uh, before going down. A lot of people were saying, well, why didn't it hit take profit? I don't know if anybody did take this, but essentially we could see that the market was ranging to the upside. So for me personally, seeing we were making lower highs and higher highs, there was no reason for me to sell. So this is a harmonic pattern. I would probably ditch and not take. There was one where we had a good triangle uh, move and we had literally no drawdown. Triangles are really good with gold. I don't know if you guys watch them, but triangles in particular with gold really play out really well. If, one, it's going in the correct direction of the trend. And two, um, if there is a if there's a bullish or bearish uh, move that's happening with the trend, right? So we could see here we had the bullish move. We did break above. Now, the, the best way that I like to teach trading is the first move is not always the best move, right? I was a salesman my whole life, and I always tell people this. The, the sale never happens on the first call. The trade never happens on the first move. So typically, what we want to look for is we wait for this move here. We broke above, we came back down, and we could have bought right on the retest and instant. I think this was like two, 300 pips, right? Super simple move. Now, obviously, that's not what I only look for. But when Monara gives me a reason to buy or sell, that's going to be one confirmation. Again, second, I need to understand which way the market is trending, okay? Trend will always help you identify in whether or not you're in the wrong side of the market or the right side of the market. The way I do that is I like my two-hour and three-hour candlesticks. I'm sorry, uh, time frames. I'm heavily in love with these time frames. I started using them last year and it's been an absolute uh, great way to find great trade ideas, right? For instance, I think I called a sell yesterday and we caught the 100 pips. This was like the 5 a.m. move, I want to say, right? If we look here, right away, we knew that there was uh, the, bull, the, the, bull, the bullish move was getting uh, tired. We were getting exhausted. Buyers couldn't buy anymore. And we started seeing some fall. We started seeing uh, fall down to the lower end of uh, to lower of an end of here. Now, obviously, that's not a great confirmation. So, what I would say is, 
what we're looking for is we're looking for an area where the market just relatively broke. And that's where I personally would be targeting. So what I like to look for is I'm looking for at least two to three wicks going up and going down in the same area. And I identify that as a, at a good zone for me, right? We had one, two, three, we had one moving down. So to me, we did break above this area. We closed above this wick. So what I'm looking for when I sold was a potential one retest. I believe we also had, I think a pattern. If I didn't, basically the candlestick pattern, we had an engulfing candle on lower time frames, right? On the 30 minute, we had this engulfing candle. And then on the one hour, we had this engulfing candle, right? And we can see these wicks. We're respecting this zone. So it was a clear, it was a clear move to the downside. Okay. So that's why we did take that sell, right? Trend was, was an uptrend overall, but we started getting, we started losing volume towards the buy side and then sell side came in and started pushing back down. So it is kind of hard to give you guys an example of what I'm looking for. So I want to go a little bit lower to kind of show you the way my zones play out. So here's a good example of my zone, right? Um, especially because we're at all time highs, it makes it a little bit harder. But when the market starts coming back down, it's a lot easier to play off of these zones for like buys or sells. Right here, we can see we had an up wick, up wick, up wick, up wick, down, 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 down. We knew a high probability of this area. I don't know why it works. It just works. Um, some, so when things work in trading, you just follow the pattern and you flow with them. That's, that's how I've taught myself. So essentially, we see here that we weren't able to break this area. Obviously, we did break through. So we were starting to move towards the towards the higher side of this uh, of gold, right? We were making new highs, but we knew obviously, like I said, the first move is not always the best move to take. So we did come back and retest. We could have bought off this level. And then obviously if you want to go to like the 30 minute, right? If we highlight this level here, if we go to like to the 30 minute, 15 minute, whatever you want to look for, you can start looking for as well as like, I like the term institutional candle, right? If we start looking for these bullish um, candles, we had our retest. Now we wait for the market to tell us the sentiment is back to the bulls. This wasn't, so a lot of people would be like, well, we sold here, right? This is an institutional candle. No, why didn't, why couldn't we, why didn't the sales follow through? Well, in reality, this push down was just a retest and it was uh, to take out uh, smart money traders. So smart money traders probably entered here, right? Nice little, call it a nice order block. The banks and institutions came back, took their stops because they usually have 10 to 15 pip stop losses, right? Stop them out or they were break even, right? Stop loss took them out at break even. Then institutions started pushing in volume. We had uh, this, this can be considered engulfing as it did close above half of the previous candle. Then we started having dojis. So we know that the bears uh, were starting to lose out on momentum. Then we could have just carried this to the high side, which would have been an easy, even if you bought here, 250 pips. Okay. So again, I know this may be a little simple and people are like, well, you know, there's no way this is all he does. All again, I look for Minara. I look for the trend. I'm looking for these types of zones, right? That I showed you. And then fourth, I'm looking for that entry on those candlesticks on the 30 minute to one hour, two hour and three hours where I find my zones. I do sometimes look at the four hour just to kind of see where it's trending. But the two hour and three hour is where I find my zones. And then the one hour is where uh, one hour and 30 minutes is kind of where I like to look for my entries. Um, just to go to GJ here, I can show you this trade. Uh, this was a buy I think I had sent yesterday, earlier in the day. It ended up hitting all my take profits. I did close it as I was break even. It kind of was annoying me. But here, here's a great example, right? We have this zone here on the two hour. We can see multiple down wicks and multiple up wicks in this area. We did break below as again, um, before we made this clear move to the high side, banks always want to wipe people out before they continue higher, right? So what does that mean? When we started to see more bullish momentum come back in, we knew this zone was being respected. And then I think there was a buy on GJ yesterday. It would have hit stop loss, right? Just again, just because it hit stop loss doesn't always mean it's necessarily wrong. I still like to use it as a confirmation that we still could possibly be going higher, right? So let me see here. I want to see if there was anything yesterday. So yeah, same idea, right? So people would have bought, but in reality, the move, the move, the overall move wasn't ready to move higher, right? So sometimes the market just needs to breathe 
in order to make that initial move, sometimes even with gold, right? We get wicked out and then it makes the it makes the move that we originally wanted. Fortunately, sometimes you have to bite the bullet, you take the loss and you move on. So here, like I said with GJ, very simple. We had our zone, down wicks and up wicks, right? We did break above and then we did come back down. So first move pushed up and then this candlestick, if we look at the 30 minute and the one hour, uh, came back down, right? Or even here, right? Something that looks like a retest um, to this zone that we did break above. So if we were looking, this was the area we broke above. Price was reject. Price was um, struggling here after coming back up. We broke above that price, retested, and then instant profit. Basically, no drawdown. Okay, so that's pretty much the way I look at zones. That's pretty much the way I look at uh, the trend of the market or what I'm trying to find. So essentially, it's super simple. Now with gold as well, because we're at all-time highs, I have to look out for silver and I also look out for DXY, okay? So same thing, I look at DXY, uh, I draw the same zones, I understand same patterns, and then silver typically makes that first move before gold ends up going. So I look at silver and the dollar as indicators as well on kind of the bias that I'm looking for on gold. And then when those two are kind of giving me the bias, then I add in my zones. Then I add in candlestick patterns and then Monara if there is anything with Monara. So that's that's kind of, I mean, the gist of it. I know some people, again, may think it's super basic, but I would say uh, use replay candles, draw out these zones yourself, understand trend. And it's really, really simple because gold really moves clearly and it gives you really good moves uh, that you can catch all the time. Now, <clears throat> lastly, I did want to speak on psychology because I know a lot of people ask me, well, should we take TP1? Should we take TP2? How often do you hit here? How often do you hit there? My goal is to make you money. Okay. In this, in this market, in this type of market, one, you control your own money. So I cannot close trades for you. Two, if you're happy with the amount of money that you make, you shouldn't be asking a neighbor. You shouldn't be asking your leader whether or not you should close the trade. Okay. What I mean by that is nobody's paying your bills. Nobody's paying for your car note. Nobody's paying for your house, your rent, right? You pay all of those by yourself, okay? So the money that you make is going to differentiate from the money that somebody else makes, okay? Some people are going to make $1,000 a day. Some people are going to make $100 a day. Some people are going to make $10 a day. What matters is you see the long-term growth. What matters is are you making money from this? And are you actually trying to make a living outside of the income that you already make, right? A job isn't a bad thing making money to fund your accounts, making money to invest. That's the most important thing, right? You can't make money without having money to begin with. So I did want to show you guys really easy Forex calculator. Okay. Let's say you started off with a thousand dollars. Okay. And you were super strict on the amount of money that you're looking to make the amount of money that you're looking to take. Okay. This is basically calculating 5% weekly. That means all you have to do is basically 1% a day on a hundred dollars. That's what? Is that it's one dollar, right? Literally one dollar profit to start, and then obviously this compounds, so that means your balance is now off of 101, and then your balance is off of 103, and then 106 as it duplicates. So your percentage, so the amount of money will change, the percentage won't. So when you focus on percentages, you're going to see a far greater growth than you will focusing on money. Okay, so just in a year and six months, if you were to focus and you were strict on yourself for a year and six months, and all you did was five percent weekly. Okay. You would have had an investment portfolio of $34,000. That is a 3,300% uh, return. Okay. And that's just 5% weekly. Okay. Now let's say, okay, well, maybe 5% is too much. Let's make it simple. Let's go to two and a half percent. Just off of a thousand dollars, you would still make a 500% return. Okay. $6,300. So if you don't want to be aggressive and you just want to make two and a half percent a week, that's basically like point or 0.25 percent a day. That's nothing, right? You can literally turn that turn it into turn a thousand dollars into almost six thousand. And keep in mind, the larger the account, the larger the lot size you can start using, the more the more money you can start making. You can start withdrawing some. You can start keeping some in. Okay. So the point of this is is allowing your account to grow and compound over time. Now, here's, here's where 
the fun begins, right? Let's say you have six, let's say you got your account to $6,000 or actually let's just say you got your account to $3,000. Okay. And you did two and a half percent weekly for six months. Let's see what that would turn into. So you'd, you'd be able to double your investment in six months, just off of 3000. Okay. Let's say you did get your account up to 6,000 and let's just say you did 4% weekly. Again, this isn't even daily. You can play with this calculator yourself within six months. You would have had made an extra what, $10,000, $10,000. And guys, I can keep playing with these numbers over and over again. If you were to able to do 1% a day, okay. And you figured out the best game plan that you can. And you started off, we'll just say $500, right? And you started off with $500 and you did it for a year and six months. And you did 1% a day off of your account size every single day for a year and six months. Obviously, you're going to have some losses. But let's just say overall you do win. In a year and six months, you would have turned your $500 into $60,000. A lot of us join Forex. A lot of us want to make money with Forex because one, we want to quit our jobs or we think we're going to make the greatest returns in a day. If anybody has promised you that you're going to become a millionaire tomorrow or you're going to become rich tomorrow, you'll never succeed in this market. And I love what Hugo says and I love what Hugo does because Hugo, Hugo's job is to help you guys keep your nine to five away, right? And that's $100 a day. That's Actually, that's more than 1%. But I'm giving you guys low end numbers, okay? Low end numbers. Let's say you had a thousand dollar account. You're basically hundred. What is this? Eleven hundred percent ROI. Right. These numbers may seem big. They may seem unattainable, and they may seem crazy. But anybody who trades in forex, who trades stocks, who trades options, understands that the power comes from percentage and growth. Right. So let's say I lose two trades, but we win eight. Right. Eight out of ten for the week. Overall, you should focus on your percentage growth. And if you're hitting your percentages, that'll, that'll begin to compound and begin to grow. So psychologically, stop looking at the money. Psychologically, start looking at the percentages and have a goal. Your one-month goal, grow this percent. Your three-month goal, grow this percent, right? That's how you become a more profitable trader. That's how you stop worrying about losses. That's how you stop worrying about money. Because when you know how much you're risking, you know how much you're making, and you have a goal to attain every single day, that is all you need to focus on. And guys, if you hit your 1% for the day and there's more trades coming out from everywhere in the world, you don't need to take them. Greed is the number one reason why you'll fail in this market. And greed is the number one reason why you will lose. And that's all I really have for you guys today. Yes, my brother. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, sir. What a legend, guys. Put a thank you in the chat box. Put some seven sevens in the chat box for completion. Put some fire emojis in the chat box for the main man, Idris Manara himself. Legendary session right there, especially for all of you individuals who are greedy, right? 50 to $100 a day will keep the nine to five away, right? So for those asking for the calculator, um, um, if, if, if one of the leaders can just put it in the chat box or just put it in the group, um, which of course is the compound calculator, um, which you'll also find in your trading plan as well. Okay. So you guys can now also have your own trading plans to do so. So it just, my brother, genuinely, thank you. No, genuinely brother. Thank you. Right. So I appreciate you so much, my man. Thank you for what you're doing for us. And most importantly, thank you for what you're doing for everyone in the company itself. You're an absolutely asset. You're a pillar to this organization in EA economy. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you so much, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. No, thank um, you to everybody. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. And it's been nothing but a pleasure. Hugo, as always, love, brother. And hopefully always, we'll man. see each other soon. 100%, my boy. 100%. Wait, wait. Just this is a quick one. Family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to fly out Idris, right? I'm trying to fly him out. <laughs> oh man. I'm trying to fly him out. <laughs> right, we need to start, we need to start a go fund Idris. <laughs> hey, you you let me know the, the day and time and uh and I'll make it, man. I'll make it happen. You guys pack the room and I'd love to meet every single one of you. Nah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, man. So, um, nah, you lot, you lot are hilarious. Man said no, did he? Hey, chill out, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to take you shopping, bro. 
I knew I, I shouldn't have ticket. You was you was leading me on with the fruit, and I bit. So now I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> nah, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, nah, family, look. Um, uh, for the rest of the group family, thank you so much for logging on. Um, if you guys genuinely think that you've had a great session today, um, just put some free, free, freeze in the chat box. If you guys got some value today, um, just so we can close out. Do you know what I mean, family? Look, this is just the beginning. Family, this is the beginning because I'm telling you now, this new launch, this new after Vegas, Vegas has really, really, really ignited the fire. I'm not into myself, but many of us in the group to really, really take this to another level. Okay, so um, the foundation that we're the second layer, the second layer that we're now building is going to be solid, right? So um, the lineup that we've got coming through for this for this group right here is crazy. What the vision is for me is for every product we have is to have a support system behind the product, right? Meaning we've got Idris as the main man, but then we have Kieran and Willis supporting it for us internally. You get it? So we get support. And of course, at the same time, we get more value. Tomorrow, family, tomorrow, we've got the one and only Kevin, right? Kevin is our in-house DeFi crypto educator. And same again, I'm going to have Kevin as the main man. And then I'm going to have, you know, a few individuals behind Kevin to make sure that we get the support system for us to grow our crypto portfolio. Family, do not miss tomorrow's call. I'm going to tell you from my side, right? Crypto is going to be my major, major, major personal launch um, in this next season, in this next run, um, alongside of FX, FX, of course, because we are in the bull run, right? So I want to make you guys understand that. With $50, with $100, right? Ask the OGs in the room that saw me do it in the last bull run. With $1,000, with $2,000, I made well over six figures trading in the crypto space, right? So you guys got to understand what we're going to do here is solidifying the passive side of things, but at the same time, making sure that we understand how to do it and duplicate it in our organization when it comes to cryptocurrency trading. And we're both going to have trading and investments being done and sent out in the group, right? So um, tomorrow's call, 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Promote it to all of the group chats and make sure that yourselves are there, family. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for you guys joining today. It's been a pleasure. Take care. Your boys out. Peace out.